Never before has natural gas played such an important role in powering our province and moving our economy forward. We're now one year into our $400 million expansion of our facility to fuel the growing demand for liquefied natural gas. It's a dramatic expansion in capacity. It's going to mean we're able to meet the rising demand for clean energy in British Columbia, including powering up British Columbia ferries, not on filthy diesel fuel, but instead on clean liquefied natural gas produced here in British Columbia. More than 600 people have worked on this project, a very a significant amount of wages that have gone in to support families in the province. Well, we're really excited because this is a local job and that's quite rare for us. It's obviously a big job driver and it's great to see BC building for a future industry that's sustainable. Port is BC has committed more than $50 million in local contracts in 2015 thanks to the Tilbury expansion. We've engaged more than 100 businesses across 10 lower mainland municipalities. Of course, we also couldn't do this without the cooperation of the unions. We have a relationship with more than 10 different unions working on this particular project. Projects like this are where skilled trades really come into play. Right now we've got uh, 475 workers, I think, that are on site building this project. They all have tremendous skills from various trades. The price of a drop of oil uh, in the world market, it's affected our business where we used to supply our product up to Alberta and into the United States. This local project, creating local jobs, is keeping the local men working. The idea of continuing to use other less clean fossil fuels isn't really leaving our future generations in very good shape. So for Fortis to take the lead in terms of LNG projects and other cleaner projects like this is huge. And the fact that we can do it here in Delta is even better. And the fact that Fortis has made a mandate to hire local uh, trades, whether they be First Nation or not, is again, your, your growing capacity of your local community and you keep the money at home, which is always good. We're also proud of our collaboration with local First Nations. For example, two Tawas and First Nations joint ventures are providing essential civil engineering and security services to the project. We believe it's important to invest in essential skills training so local First Nations members are ready to take advantage of employment opportunities at future LNG facilities. This project has created thousands of hours of well-paying trades jobs and has procured more than $10 million worth of services and goods in Delta. And when I look at the project today, you know, I'm really thrilled with the construction project. It's quite amazing what they've done in a year, isn't it? And I'm even more pleased about the economic benefits that this project is bringing to Delta and to the entire province. Not just during construction, but for many years to come.